when, when we decided to move to Panama, I never thought that there'd be a time when I was too cold. Yeah. But it's freezing today. This is how the Panamanians handle it. Yeah. You, you gotta pull them a little bit tighter, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. There you go. That's how you guys survive. Yeah. <laughs> this is the sweatshirt I bought from Victoria's Secret when I was home the last time. <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel pimp with it. <laughs> We're finishing it up the windows, and I can't say I'm more excited to be all done installing windows. We should be done in. I'm not going to even give it time because every time I do that, it takes way longer than I think it's going to. <laughs> You guys watch us install the windows down here. We had kind of a hard time. Believe it or not, they don't sell shims in our town or in the city. We went around looking for shims so we could shim the, the windows in and make it really easy, but they don't have them. So we had to basically use this cement board as a shim and it's just a little bit more difficult. From one chicken no! to another. <laughs> so the fourth and final freaking window is going in right now. <laughs> so we're, doing, we're doing an English music lesson. <laughs> we started off with Dave Matthews, and now we've moved on to Little John and the East Side Boys. What's the album called? Kings of Crumbs. With the Kings of Crumbs. <laughs> Kage's never heard this song. I know. Let's just hope that this is the last window we have to install in this workshop. What do you mean? I thought we were doing a middle one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not after all. All right, I think we gotta hop down and see what this looks like. We're kind of worried about how close these windows are. That looks like a face of disappointment. No, 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 I'm just taking it all in. I think it's fine. I think it looks good. Like I said, I think worst case to break up this, the, the big space below the big windows, put some planters. Yeah, I, don't, I think it looks like normal. I thought it was gonna look really weird. No, I, I think it looks fine. I got one question. What? You see that right there? How did that broom get up on the roof? Don't ask me. <laughs> that broom's been there for like three weeks. Every time we do a drone shot, we're like, oh, there's that broom again. We gotta go and get that. <laughs> so a little chicken update for you guys. We have four chickens and they're, what, almost four months old? Uh -huh. They're our quarantine chickens. We actually got them at the beginning of quarantine here in Panama. And we're hitting that mark where they could be laying eggs any day now. So one thing that I find really cool is we let them free range all over our lands, but something that they're starting to do a lot, and I don't know if this is because they're about to have eggs soon, or I'm not really sure, but they all huddle in a little, in a little like section of the, of the land, whether it's under a tree or a bush, and they all just like chill there. It's so cute. So we were getting a little bit worried because when we transferred all these plants, they started getting a little bit yellow. Some leaves were falling off, but just in the last couple days, we're noticing that they're coming back. So they're coming back strong. And they're coming back strong. We thought maybe we put a little bit too much compost, too much uh, too soon. But I think I think they're gonna be all right. Go for it! It's okay. <laughs> Everyone's here trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the end of the day from up here, but it's not the end of our work day. What's up, dude? Keep us, bro. Keep us, how are you doing? Yeah, I wouldn't think of getting a smoothie from here. So we're just pulling up to the coffee lab now. Oh, 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 and there's something going on in action right now that we can't wait to show you guys. Hola amigo. Wow. It's muy bonito amigo. 
So this is actually the coffee gold. belt, which is all the area that coffee grows. So all the area in gold, that's where the coffee grows in the world. And we're right in the center of it. Before we do anything, we have to make coffee. And you might be wondering why we're making coffee out of a Mr. Coffee coffee pot. And that's because we've been perfecting a recipe to make great coffee out of a Mr. Coffee. Because we know, we know probably like, Maybe 75% of you guys. Make your coffee in here. Yeah. So part of the trick is turning the coffee pot off about halfway through the brewing process. But if you guys want to see a full video on this recipe, we actually have a video on the Morning Movement channel, so I'll link to it down below. 264, I said, right? Well, that's it today from the coffee lab. Just another couple of rows done. Not a heck of a lot of progress, but. We're in curfew, so we have to go home at seven o'clock. Time to go watch the sunset. We've talked to you guys a lot about the wind recently and how we're going through our mini summer right now. And when we go through summer, we don't get any rain. So I had to come down to town and just fill up our water tank. So we're shuttling water up to our land, you can see. It's nice and full. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I can only bring about 50 gallons up at a time. You can already see behind me all the water splashing up. <laughs> but I can only bring up about 50 gallons at a time. Right now, we're only collecting water off of our solar panels, and it's just turning out to be not big enough. We did all of this work, our tank, our pump house, and our solar panel water catchment system. Hi, love. Hi, love. Good morning. Good morning. We did all of this during quarantine. This is like when we were going into survival mode. We had just moved up here, and bam, we were in lockdown. So we decided to use our solar panels to catch water, and it runs all into here and into our tank, but these just aren't big enough. Memento, man. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey, divertido. Close it. And that's it. That's how we fill it up. Just a little siphoning. So this is just kind of how we're going to do it. And this is how we'll get by until we can build a bigger rift to collect water. Where you are doing the compost. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's still moving the tongue and oh everything. Oh no, dude. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see. It's an all black snake with red dots all over the back. Red diamonds. And like this, Very classy. this is pretty much um, the size of snakes that we've been seeing around here. Which definitely means there's got to be a mama, a mama around somewhere, but whew. <laughs> well, we've been talking a lot about moisture yeah. and rain. And there's a lot of that here. So we've been debating on whether or not to put uh, a moisture control barrier around the structure before we put the siding up. So we were planning on putting the siding up today, but then we were, the more we thought about it, we were like, wait. Why aren't we wrapping this? Why aren't we putting a house wrap? Right. Then we started making some calls to see if we could get some house wrap. Turns out nowhere around us sells any house wrap. <laughs> so then we had to decide what we want to do. Um, well, the, so this is what we're using for our house wrap. Right. You probably have never seen a house wrap in this before. Mm -hmm. And you probably know this is Reflectix, which is what a lot of people use in their vans for their van conversions. But it's white on one side. This is going to face outside. Yeah. This is going to face inside. Uh, yeah. That must be a nice little vapor barrier. I know you've probably seen Tyvek on most houses, but as far as we know, that doesn't exist here. So we'll see how much of this wall we can get done today. We're gonna have a hard time getting up at the top. I don't think we have the stuff to do it, but we can at least get the bottom done. So step number one, gotta put this house wrap on. disaster this is turning into all the everything that we just did is now ripped out <coughs> all the uh, all the wrapping and you can see what we did we put these fat washers with the screw and it's just the whole wrap is just ripping right around the screw we did all that work getting it all up and now it's all just blown off 
So there's only one way to do this. We have to put the plisim on as we're going up. There's no other way. So I know you're not, usually you want to wrap the whole thing, but this is, this is just going to keep coming down if we just keep trying to put it back up. Luke. I am your father. <laughs> a little bit of a problem, but it was a pretty easy fix. These studs are two inches and three quarters, and these studs are four inches. So what we did with these studs, because they're gonna hold, hold both the outside and the inside walls, we split the difference and we put them in the middle. I think it's because, like, if we were to use wood, yeah. I don't know if we would have that problem. Because wood so, is much stronger. It's so flexible that's yeah. like bowing it in. So we're having like this wavy kind of situation going on. So what we're doing is we're just taking a thin piece of plastic like this and setting it on each beam that we're going to screw it into just to fill that gap. So I don't know how else we really would have done it other than fill the gaps because there's only one size of studs here. It's like two, it's a little under three inches. We have to have something to attach the inside wall to and we have to have something to attach the outside wall to. So for a four inch beam, we just have to fill that gap with something. Just finishing up our day, putting the last piece of plisim in. And I'd be lying if I told you guys today it wasn't a little bit of a struggle. This is kind of hard. Like yeah. using this stuff. 100%. Man, it's tricky. And we've been kind of fighting with it all day, taking boards out, putting boards in, taking them out. Yeah, making sure everything's level. But there's a lot about this that's different than we're used to. So trying to fasten cement to metal studs and like thin, thin metal studs. Yeah. Is, is hard. And the beautiful thing about this is like, this was kind of our experiment. You know, like we, we knew going into this, we we're probably gonna make a ton of mistakes. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. So I'm glad that we're using this time to hone in on our skills so that when we do build our tiny house one day, we'll be, we'll be known a little bit more than we did before. That's what this is all about. It was like, let's just make a ton of mistakes learn what not to do yeah so when it comes to building a house right we know what to do what do you think it looks so much like wood i know like if if you were look if i was going to look at this and didn't know it was cement you'd think it's wood take yeah. a look take a look at that so i'd say overall i'm super pumped with how this is going to look it's just going to be a challenge just Figuring like it out. just like everything else that we've been doing you know yeah so next time you guys are going to see us put the rest of this wall up and hopefully another wall yeah Hopefully, but this is where we're going to let you guys go. We love you guys so much and we'll see you next time.